Just got up. Benjamin Tate the third starts his day off right. No poop, no shave, no brushing of the teeth. Straight to Atlantis. I'm just, I'm just too excited. Like it's, it's, it's a new world. It's a whole new world. I want to see what you got. You ain't been selling my stuff without my acknowledgement, have you, Vasco? So uh, I'd like to maybe, you know, go sell all, a lot of these. What are you doing? Are you recording hey, me, sir? Vasco. What? No parrot? Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? And here's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Oh, nice. Just what I was looking for. Yo, wait. I gotta pay you for this? And fix my ship for free. Do you know who I am? Benjamin Franklin Tate the Third. So, uh, where can I go to get more top G's like me for my fleet ship that I have back here? I would try to viewport. They'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. Interesting, interesting. So, you do know where the top... Hey, you, you kind of actually look like a distant relative. Are, are you a top G? Alright, so where did you say I could sell things? The Trade Authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so, um... I mean, I guess you're gonna have to repair my ship. Nothing for us to do. You're in good flying condition. Oh, <laughs> well... Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Well, awesome! Thank you! Thank you, name. Alright, Vasco, come on, we gotta go! Includes meeting your new foster pet. My parents weren't dead. They just took a different shot. Oh, well, of course, uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just. Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM 1327HCHA. I was that the damn. station administrator. I'll need to report to MAST ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. And Mr. Shh, Bob, quiet! Say how long talking here. Oh, patches, what? patches. No, just ugh, go away. Uh, who are you talking to like that? What? Can I help you? Idiot lady, I hate you. Guess you caught some of that, huh? The galaxy is at peace and somehow seems more dangerous than ever. What happened to the early days, huh? When we just float through the stars and dream. That's humans for you. We can ruin a glass of water. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Well, still, I hold out hope. There are more good people than bad in this galaxy. It's just that the bad are... Huh, louder. You wanna see how loud I can get? I mean, uh, 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 uh... Who are you? Ricardo Bosch. I was the lead researcher on the station that got attacked. It was business as usual until those House Varun crazies swarmed in, spouting their scripture or whatever it was. Well, I, I, I really don't know, know what to say about that, Ricardo. I speak a little Espanol myself. But anyways, Ricardo, nice chat. But before I go, I do have a little recommendation for you. Shave the porn stash. Another time, then. Yep, no problem. What's up, little Bobby? I've never been in a battle. Everyone kept telling me to keep my eyes closed, but it's kind of hard to do that when you're running. At first, I thought it was ecliptic mercenaries shooting at us, but it wasn't. It was these other people yelling about serpents and stuff. Oh, the Illuminati. <laughs> gotcha. Well, the galaxy's a tough place, pal. Is that really an appropriate thing to say to a child? Anyway, I'm fine now. I hope my parents don't take too long getting here. Yeah, well, oh, sorry to break it to you, kid. Your parents are dead. Kind of busy right now. You ain't doing nothing, girl. What are you talking about? You kind of busy. I had to smack you, girl. Put you in my shit. Slave trade you. I mean, uh, uh. Nice hat. <laughs> That's really a stupid looking hat. Oh, shit. We ain't supposed to be in there, Vasco. Nice. What you mean, boy? I take care of bounties, boy. <laughs> the Terra Brew Although Coffee I have Shop. Attempted an analysis several times. I simply cannot quantify humans' addiction to caffeine. Buddy, it's coffee. Pick one, get out of the way, and let us get on with our lives. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Sure. Yes. What? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, guys. Fighting over coffee? Yes. I want, I want to steal this spoon. I really want to steal this. 
Oh god, they're all looking at me. I'm, I'm taking it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'll just take this cut. I really want to take that spoon. <gasps> More spoons. I'm, I'm gonna take one spoon. Just one, just one spoon. Whoopsie. What do you think you're doing? Shit! Who? Who? Wait! Wait! Is this the spoon? I'll oh. take that. Thank you. <laughs> Idiot! Overweight. Look at this, Vasco. Look at this. Booty cheeks, Vasco. Oh, never mind. She ugly. Well, that's very unfortunate. Can I get some service over here? I really want some chocolate. There is a bit more in the back if you're not seeing something on this plate. Well, I really want the chocolate right there on this plate, please, ma'am. Uh, nice place you got it. It's hard work, but it all pays off in the end. And I can't take all the credit. Gerhardt, my business partner, if it weren't for him, I You know I what? I don't care. I don't care. I, I really Thanks don't care what in. you gotta say about the stupid story. You know, like, Fort, Fort. Uh, it's come on, Vasco. Let's get out of here. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Very good. Good to see you. Anything you recommend doing in New Atlantis? There's a huge tree in the Embassy District, across from the mass station. Trust me. It may sound dumb, but I think everyone should see it at least once when they're in the city. It's so cool. Oh, maybe I just love trees. I think I love you. Ooh, looking at me with them tigery, purry eyes. Arr, arr. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so anyways, about this tree, uh, maybe me and you could go see and visit this tree, uh kind of make out. I mean, do you like living here? Oh, sure. There's always tons of travel into New Atlantis, so there's no shortage of people to meet. Not to mention, it's also nice and safe. Unlike my brother's job. What is your brother, like a janitor or something? Jeez, what's so unsafe about him? What's he do? He's a Marine. And if that wasn't bad enough, he's stationed in Sidonia. He keeps telling me it's safe and how he loves his job. But I just worry about him so much. All I ever hear about Sidonia is how many people get hurt in accidents there. I just pray that he'll be okay. <laughs> that weird ass girl in the back. Well, anyways, yeah, I, I, I'm a miner and I kind of touched this artificial relic and I'm kind of going to be a god soon. So if you want to be my queen, maybe we can get out of here. I mean, that girl's kind of creeping me out behind you. Uh, but he'll, he'll be okay. I hope you're right. I just have such a hard time believing that, though. But, oh my, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dump all of that onto you. It just feels good to get it all off my chest. Oh, no worries, no worries. I like to touch your chest. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's good to get things off your chest. I mean, that girl behind you is really getting weird. See you. I, I gotta, I gotta go. Uh, look, I don't, I don't trust her. What's up, guy? You, you want to join my team of top G's? What were you bucking up, boy? Good day to drop by. Bartender's making them strong today. You in uh, town for business? Oh, I sure am, Baskowski's. What skills are you peddling? I'm billing myself as a weapons expert, sniper tech specifically. Nice, nice. Most travelers like having someone on their crew who's good with firearms. Yep, yep, <laughs> the nice. Settled systems are no picnic. Yeah, I like picnics. Um. Well, yeah, today's your lucky day, Bankowski. So I'm looking for someone to join my crew. Oh, so girl. Yeah, I mean, I wish you'd kind of join, but I mean, Bukowski. Well, I'll be damned. What a coincidence. Working on a ship sounds perfect. I was hoping my next job would get me out of the city. What's your offer? Well, I was offering three peanut butter jelly sandwich and a lap dance with that lady mopping behind me, but, uh... So, uh, Bukowski, I mean, you're a handsome-looking guy. You could probably be a quarterback for the Patriots, but would you consider it all? Nice smile, Bukowski, nice smile, but would you consider working for less than a standard rate, Bukowski? I'm a reasonable guy, but that's just too low. Uh, handsome man. Nice smile. Do I need a shower or something? Yeah, 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 get out of here. Get out of here, Scram! Look at this guy. I'm not used to people coming up to me. Darth Vader? The suit usually scares them off. <laughs> Although 
I guess that's my fault, isn't it? I don't care how much you're worth, I want you on my team. That's an impressive suit, if a little intimidating. Uh, yeah, well, I, I go all over. A little psychological warfare up front tends to make things easier. I'm guessing you're a mercenary then, or military. Retired, actually. From too many lives to count. But I've been all those things, you yeah? know? And a few more. Wait a second. I think I'm in danger of having a real conversation with someone for a change. <laughs> Better stop here. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Well, Mr. Hunter Man... Wait, are you a man? You got some hips on you! Wow, I think I love you. Kiss me. Kiss me, Hunter Man woman. I'll see you around. Yep, uh, I, I think... I think that's... I'm pretty sure that's a girl. Get on my face, boy. Eh, too ugly. Change your hairstyle, you look stupid. Maria Burroughs. Eh, alcoholic. Wow, that hunter was sure cool. Train's here. Open up, I gotta go. Mass District, please. I have a feeling today's going to be a great day. Don't you agree? Uh, yeah, sure. Wait, wait, wait. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I leave. Aw, oh, no, she's married. Probably not. Ah, uh, whatever. See you around. You're a waste of time. Going this, we're supposed to be going that way, but that ET store looks pretty cool. Here right. we are. The lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be we Well, honey, I'm home. Captain Benjamin. Everyone will be in the library. Just That's inside. Funny. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now. And he hopes you'll make this place your home. Going I'm planning wages. I'm serious. Hello everybody, I'm here! Nope. We appear to have a visitor. Is that her? Welcome to Constellation. Is that the girl we have from a the lot to talk about? Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Yes, uh, ma'am. So anyway, some pirates attacked me. Barrett asked me to deliver this artifact that I found all by myself. I touched it, and I seen the light. I see. Bosco, verify. All statements made have been factual. See, I don't lie. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. Hey, shut your but shit, that boy! didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Yeah, I brought it. Thank you, Mateo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Ma'am, I just told you, I fainted and I seen the light. I seen the future. Top G's will take over the world. And I will be their leader. It was a bright light. And music, wonderful music. It kind of sounded like the Imagine Dragon soundtrack for this game called Starfield. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Yeah, it's sort of a big deal. Give me that. Gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... I kind of don't want to do that. The artifact. Nah. If you could place it on the table here. First, I want this man to respect me, Walter Stroud, with the wrench in the laboratory. That's right, shut your mouth while I place this artifact on this here table. And I'll stare at you in your eyes as I do it, Walter Stroud. That's it. Just like the others. Oh, now you're pressing. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at wow, them. Wow, 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 wow. That's the you top G's the of the heavens. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? They're gonna kill me? <laughs> so, They're gonna milk me? Are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Uh, 
um, can I think about it for a little bit? We kind of got artifacts just floating around your face, and I can't concentrate very well. You know what? All right, I'm in. Tell me what happened next. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Ooh. Get your feet wet. <sighs> and here, Get I think you've earned wet. something for bringing the artifacts to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? I already got one. Just mind your head. You need to mind your head. Them artifacts just floating around. Wow! Wonderful! Spectacular! Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. In my 25 years of living, that is by far the ugliest thing I've ever heard, Walter. But if that was an apology, you could do better. I am sorry I besmirched your chosen profession and made assumptions about your character. Thank you. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, Absolutely. Let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. That's all I wanted, Walter. Alright, well, that's Remember, enough jibber jabber. You're representing all of us out there. Sure am, Stroud. Walter. I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. Constellation, the I'm told artifacts. That when I'm not here, I'm distracted that doesn't sound by crazy, what does missing. it? What do you make of the vision I saw? I'm not gonna lie. I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? Mateo, it kind of felt like a galactic orgasm, if, if, if I'm gonna be serious here. But, um... Anyway, maybe I'm just going crazy. You're not, okay? Barrett saw something too, and believe me, if he was willing to admit to it, it was a big deal. Well, take care of yourself. You too, Mateo. Have a good one. Well, <sighs> as much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. What's up? That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Shit, dawg, you already know it ain't no thing, kickity kickity shit. But anyway, Sarah says something about a place for me to stay. Maybe at your house? Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Nice. You got something for me? Yeah, baby, I got uh, these lips for you. So? Are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Come on, let's, uh, let's, let's go, let's go. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. Nice. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people Flip can stars. pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. I have to admit it. I'm excited for my first mission. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. Ooh. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. We're like a couple. Got it. Me and you dating until we find the artifact. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Nice. I thought you never asked, Sarah. My two girlfriends and Black Jesus up there. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Vasco and Sarah. Me and my two pals. Wait, where's Vasco? I, I really want to check the store out, Sarah. Come on, please. I, have, I haven't been out here. I mean, we got extra money to spend. Walter just gave us a whole bunch of smackaroos. Wow, here it is. The EIT. Wow, now that's snazzy. I'm gonna own this one one day. I'll be sure to pick up all the ladies with that bad boy. What do you think, Sarah? Do you, you think this one would go good with my eyes? Silent type. Can you fly like me, Sarah? Look. Okay, it's not really flying, but... I 
drag you, Samir. Ha <laughs> ha! See, Sarah. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at you. Ha <laughs> ha! Come on, Sarah. Quit being silly. Let's go. Can't be a top G if you can't keep up with me, Sarah. Let's go. Pick them feet up. We're going uphill. Wrong way. Run this way, Sarah. Come on. Keep it up. Don't get tired now. Come on, Sarah. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Sarah, we're about to run up these stairs just like Rocky Balboa. Sarah, we're going to get you some thick thighs. The Vanguard, <laughs> honor, royalty, self Idiots. Come on, Sarah. Let's go. Pick up them feet. Let's go. Let's go. Very good. Very good. Didn't break a sweat. Sarah, good to see you. Damn, you got friend. a deep voice. Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Oh, we uh, Another space explorer. Hey, yeah. you ever think of joining up with a vanguard? No, I don't think my voice is deep enough for that. But, uh, yeah. No thanks. Well, you know what? Maybe later. We have a Constellation business to discuss first. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean... I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we <gasps> play. You are the officer. Asks, I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps Moana. patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Like Marvin? Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Well, we'll talk to him. I'm sure we can make him a good offer for it. Soul System is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Thanks. Well, thanks for all your help, John. Anything for Sarah. Oh, brother. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You know what? I think it's kind of a no now, Mr. Guy. Due to the fact that you keep kind of flirting with my woman over here. Absolutely not. Let's go. What's up, Carrot Top? Sarah! She keeps trying to flirt with John over there. Hey, it's you again. See Tony after work. Yeah, I can't really talk to you anymore. I kind of got a girlfriend now. She's right here, and uh, she'll get really mad, so I uh, gotta go. Well, here, Sarah. This is my ship. Come on. Me and you got one bed. We're gonna have to share a bed. Don't worry. I won't bite. Very hard. Let's go! Me and my woman on our first date. Oh, what a day.